Hi, let's continue with the window tag and here we can find window tag. We have already created the window tag as attribute defined block in the previous session. Now let's focus on the placement of window tags. I need one more window tag here. So temporarily I'll draw a line from this midpoint to here and I'll go to insert and let's find window tag and place at the mid and I can say here w1 and say ok and I'll erase this line. Then I can copy this window tag with respect to the windows midpoint uh, one here another one here another one here and this is fan light so I can simply double click on it and I can edit it here capital F and I'll say apply ok. Now for this side also I'll repeat the same procedure for the first time I'll create a line from here to here and I'll insert a window tag and this would be W2 I'll say W2 and say ok and I'll erase this line and say copy from this midpoint to here and I can edit this one as W1 apply ok. Ok now I have placed all the window tags. Now if you check the W2 uh, window tag the text is not exactly fitting within the hexagon. So I can select this and say BE enter for block editor. I can edit this one. I can create polygon again number of sides 6. Uh, I can start from mid between these two points and uh, I'll select inscribe in the circle. This time I'll say 1 foot 3 inches and the internal one I'll erase it and I'll close block editor and save the changes to tag underscore window. Now it is fine. Now you can see that has got updated everywhere. Okay that's great we have completed the flow plan with an imperial example. Let's see a metric example in the next lecture. And as I always say if you have any questions or any doubts any problems don't hesitate to contact me. Okay let's move to the next lecture.